Namaste. Welcome to Youth TV Show Season 8. In today's episode, we are featuring the four winners of Swish Nepal Technology Transfer Workshop 2018, organized by Nepali Scientific Association in Switzerland, NEPSAS, in association with Embassy of Switzerland in Nepal and Gate College Kathmandu. This is a workshop where the startup enthusiasts are mentored to further develop their technology and product to solve local challenges. So thank you very much for giving us this opportunity to talk about our program. So the program is called Swiss Nepal Technology Transfer Workshop 2018. This is the second edition of, uh, of our program. So in this program, uh, we are bringing participants with early stage startup or ideas for a startup and we are matching uh, their ideas or interests with the experts who have expertise in the relevant field. Uh, so in this workshop, uh, we had two group of mentors. One group of mentors were technical experts who can mentor our participants on the technical aspect of the project. And similarly, we also had a business experts who would uh, show whether who will guide our participants whether the projects are viable or not. So our participants worked for two days together uh, with the mentors and developed ideas and those ideas were presented in front of jury so and at the end of the day we uh, selected top four ideas and we'll be trying to incubate uh, these ideas and often successful realization of this project they will represent nepal in all innovations forum the first winner of swish nepal technology transfer workshop 2018 is care tech with the project cattle pregnancy kit namaste we are the cater group our group has won the swiss nepal technology transfer a workshop organized by Nepsis. Farmers are the integral part of our society. The main source of income to the farmers is animal husbandry. Production of milk and meat supplies relies on effective breeding. In order to make an effective breeding, the farmer must know the exact pregnancy status of the animal. The main problem that our farmers are facing right now is the late detection of pregnancy by wet doctor or simply by observation. To overcome this problem, we have come up with an idea. Our idea is to develop a very simple, user-friendly, affordable pregnancy kit for cattle that will work as simple as the human pregnancy kit. This is the paper model of our kit. In case of cattle, there is a specific protein present in the milk during the pregnancy so we are going to detect this those proteins from this kit our kit is based on the principle of ELISA so here you can see there is a dipping region and then the display region display regions are coated with the antibodies first we need to dip this region in the samples that is uh, cow's milk or the blood and then the depending upon the uh, presence of specific protein present in this milk it will bind to the ant antibodies and shows the visible colors so for reference we can see that the presence of double lines indicates the pregnancy and the single line indicates non-pregnant. There are mainly three benefits of our kit. The first is its ability to early detect pregnancy compared to other currently available methods and that is in less than a month. And the second benefit is its price which we have estimated to sell our kit in uh, about uh, Nepalese rupees 200 per kit. And the third and the most important um, benefit of our kit is its, re is its reliability and its easiness to use. Uh, the farmers can use this kit in their own farmland without the supervision of any expertise. So after winning the NEPSUS competition there, we have been provided an opportunity to compete in the War Innovation Forum. So for that we need to develop a prototype. And so we are going to invest our 50,000 rupees as a seedling for this project. So. Uh, when the prototype is ready, then we are going to find the investors. Since 50,000 is not enough to develop a prototype and even the kit to the market. So we are ready for the investors since we our project is very innovative and it will help our Nepalese farmers. So if anybody is interested and uh, who are looking for this video really thinks that our idea can work and we can really change in Nepalese market and we Nepalese students can do something, then you are open and we are always here to welcome you. So thank you. The second winner of Swish Nepal Technology Transfer Workshop 2018 is Black Worm with the project of Bio Waste Management. Today I'm here to share uh, our idea uh, that is uh, production of sustainable feed for uh, animal farming by utilization of biodegradable solid waste through the nutrient recycling. And this idea was presented and got the position of first runner-off in 
second Swiss Nepal Technology Transfer Workshop organized by NEPSAS. Now I am talking about my our idea. Basically, uh, we have two approaches uh, in our idea. Uh, first, uh, solid waste management, and second, uh, production of sustainable, high quality protein feed for animal farming. It is estimated that around 500 metric ton of waste is generated in Kathmandu Valley per day, and among which uh, around 60 to 70 percent waste is biodegradable. So. Um, we have come up with an idea that such a biodegradable solid waste can be managed through composting by using black soldier fly larva and this larva can be used as a high quality highly nutritious feed for uh, chicken swine and fish farming now uh, the question is that why this larva for the composting and feed because of their characteristics that uh, makes them the most suitable candidate for uh, such process. Uh, first of all, they are non-pest, uh, non-vector uh, insects, uh, so they cannot spread any disease and they are uh, safe to use. And second, the larvae of black soldier fly insect are renowned for their voracious appetite and they can reduce up to 80% of uh, waste on which they are feeding and the remaining 20% of decomposed waste can be used as a organic fertilizer. After feeding up to 10 to 12 days, this larva can be used as a feed for animal farming. Why they can be used as a protein feed? Because their nutritional content. Uh, black soldier fly larva contain about 40% of protein which is comparable with uh, fish protein and uh, far better than soy protein and uh, they also contain 30% of fat with uh, essential fatty acid and omega-3. This quality makes them ideal fit for animal uh, for agri protein. Now uh, what are the impact of our, our idea if implemented? First as we are trying to reduce uh, organic uh, solid waste volume by uh, composting uh, through uh, larva, it can help to create a clean and green environment. Uh, next uh, impact is as we can use the uh, larva which are feeding waste can be used as a feed. So, it can help to uh, promote uh, uh, sustainable agricultural practice. And third, uh, as uh, remaining 20% of waste can be used as a high quality organic fertilizer, uh, it helps uh, farmers to practice. Uh, organic uh, agriculture and third and most important uh, aspects of uh, impacts of this uh, idea is we can generate a good amount of revenue uh, by implementing our project and we need uh, human resources to execute uh, this idea so implement opportunity is also very uh, important uh, factor that can be considered. The third winner of Swish Nepal Technology Transfer Workshop 2018 is Augmented Reality. Namaste. This is me Monu Chaudhary from the group Augmented Reality with an idea on AR Learn. So what is the trend of teaching children in Nepal? Usually the uh, children are taught using charts, using board and marker. The children are made to memorize objects and characters using through rhymes. So is this way an effective one? No, it is not because the children might not have an idea of what the teacher are teaching them as they might not have seen those objects. Uh, so this is how we came up with an idea of AR Learn. Now I'd like to elaborate more about our project AR Learn. AR Learn is basically a mobile application especially focused for pre-primary students. AR Learn scans a letter from a textbook and pops up a 3D model with audio and information regarding to that object. You will be more clear about our application by this video. A for apple. A for apple. B for ball. B for ball. C for cat.
के चाहिए रुपए हैं? मैं ये आकाश में देंगे। क्या कर रहे हैं? As we saw in the demo video, through our application, the learning process will be more effective and more interactive. So basically, our application is focused for pre-primary students. Hence, so our targeted individuals will be pre-primary school, pre-primary teachers and their parents. With an aim of enhancing e-learning in Nepal, we are looking forward for investors, sponsors and mentors or anyone who would like to collaborate with us, to work with us hand in hand. We would welcome you with an open heart. Thank you. The fourth winner of Swish Nepal Technology Transfer Workshop 2018 is Sukshma with the project of paper-based diagnostic device. Imagine there is a person named Kim Bahadur who hails from say Humla. For the past few months, he has been suffering from pain in urination, subtle symptoms. But suddenly one day he su suffers from major flank pain and travels to say Nepal Ganj where he finally discovers that he has final stage kidney damage. Now there are only a limited options to people like Kim. Either he can do nothing and spend his life in pain and misery or he can go for a treatment which has its own financial burden. And these are the Kim Bahadurs which end up in the streets of Kathmandu begging for money because they cannot afford a good kidney treatment. There is an easy solution to all of this, early diagnosis. But early diagnosis of kidney problems is not quite feasible with the techniques available today, especially in case of resource limited areas like the rural places where Kim comes from because uh, they use high-tech labs and techniques which are quite not affordable. And this is where we come in. Our team is called Sukshma, we have five members and we have come up with a product which combines two novel technologies, well at least one of them. One is a paper based technology and the other is a smartphone app. The user can firstly deposit his or her urine in our paper based kit and it will show some color change based on the reagents or the reactants present in the urine. The app present in the smartphone will then analyze the photo of this paper kit and will calculate the intensity of the colors. And using the calibrated values which will be built into this app, it will give us a final value known as an ACR or albumin creatinine ratio. Now usually if the value of this ACR is greater than 30, then the person will be more prone to developing chronic diseases. Now why, are, why us? Why our product? Firstly because it is highly cost, cost effective. We are using paper-based technologies and the amount of reagents that we are going to use is minimal. Therefore, the cost will be greatly reduced. Secondly, it does not require any complicated techniques or any complicated devices for the results. Therefore, it will be accessible to more and more people, especially in resource limited areas. And thirdly, it will be very user friendly and easy to use. Our goal is to help people like Kim know more about their kidney health, to, more, to be more aware about their own kidneys so that we can avoid the problem of kidney diseases and chronic kidney diseases in the first place. Currently, there are about 30,000 people in Nepal who suffer from such ailments and 3,000 are being added every year and our aim is to reduce that. Therefore, if we have any collaborators, any investors present out there, we would please invite you to invest in us so that we could take this plan further. Thank you. The first winner will have the opportunity to showcase their project in Switzerland at the World Innovation Forum. To get further information, log on to nepsas.org. We will be back next week with a new episode of Youth TV show, Namaste.